Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So today is just a quick charcoal landscape. I haven't done one of these for a while, maybe weeks or even months, uh, but I actually I enjoy doing the, the charcoal landscapes. There's some advantages to working with charcoal. It's um, you don't have to set things up or prepare things. You just open up a sketchbook, get a piece of charcoal, and just get stuck in. Um, charcoal is also probably one of the cheapest art materials that you can get, which is always good. The only other tools or materials that I'm using is you can see I'm using a piece of tissue paper just to smudge some of the charcoal. The paper that I'm using is just it's a grey toned uh, sketchbook, but really any sort of paper will work. It doesn't have to be a toned paper, it can just be white paper. Really the only paper that's not going to work with charcoal is sort of shiny paper. You need a bit of um, a tooth on the paper just to catch some of the charcoal dust. But really most sketchbooks will work. The only reason I was smudging the the background was just to well when you smudge a charcoal a couple of things happen first of all you lift off some of the dust from the paper so it's it's more gray than black um, or if you want a more technical you're sort of reducing the the value you're pushing it from a, a dark value towards a more sort of mid gray value which can push things into the background also when you're smudging things it it has a, a softer edge which also pushes things back uh, backwards it looks as though it's a little bit out of focus sort of thing so if you have in the foreground things that look as though they're quite sharp and then things in the background are a bit more fuzzy. It sort of creates an illusion of depth in the sketch. The sketch itself, I'm not trying to make it accurate. I'm, I'm only doing this from memory and imagination. Uh, at this time of the year, so that I'm recording this in February, sort of mid-February. Um, it's not ideal weather outside to be taking a sketchbook and trying to draw outside. I did get out for a walk this morning, but it was about, I think 60 or 70 mile an hour winds. So it was difficult enough just walking sometimes rather than uh, trying to hold a sketchbook and things. And then tomorrow I think it's back to snow again. So not really the weather for outdoor sketching or painting. I think over the next week or two, I'll be trying a few more of these charcoal sketches. Partly because I'm running out of materials for other uh, things like watercolors and things. If you've never tried charcoal, um, I do recommend it. It is a bit messy, but it's quite fun. It also sort of teaches you about the idea of values. Um, you only have black and white to work with really, or black and gray in this case. So it teaches you a little bit about how to use values to try and create an idea of a landscape sort of thing. Okay, so this is a scan of that final drawing or sketch. Um, I say I was quite happy with it. I haven't, it's the first one I've done like this for a, some time. So I'm a little bit out of practice. And in fact, the last few weeks I haven't been doing as much art because busy with other things. So 
it was nice to just sit down and have a go at doing some sketching again. Okay, if you'd like to subscribe, just click on the big red subscribe button below and hopefully see you in the next video.